All right, how's it going, y'all? So today, Synology has just unveiled a NAS that I think a lot of people are going to go to start with, and it might be my new kind of recommendation for the starter, uh, larger business NAS. For a, hey, you just need a NAS to start with, this might be the one, and it is the new DS1522 Plus. And the reason I think it's gonna be such a good unit to start your business off with, or anybody who's a bit of a larger user, is it's actually got the ability to upgrade to 10 gigabit. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with two and a half gigabit networking on it, but at least it does come with the ability to upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that right here. And it's also got a very weird new PCIe expansion card. I don't know if it's even technically a PCIe. Well, I guess it's PCIe, just not your standard PCIe form factor. And so this is it right here. It is the DS1522 Plus, and they have gone away from Intel. Now, one thing that is going to come with that is AMD does have a lot more horsepower per dollar, and so this CPU is going to be a lot faster than its competitor, except for one crucial thing. AMD does not have Intel QuickSync. Intel has Intel QuickSync. And Intel QuickSync is a game changer for transcoding within Plex, video station, anything that needs a virtual GPU, you can use Intel QuickSync for and get insane performance out of it. And so with this upgrade from the DS1520 Plus, you lose that Intel QuickSync. And so you lose the ability to transcode like 1080 and 4K videos and multiple of them on this device. And so that is going to be a drawback for some people. But I think for the vast majority of people, Anybody who is not using this as a Plex box, they're going to be very happy with this upgrade. There are also a few devices that I'm gonna leave a link to in the description below that can solve that problem for pretty cheap as well. And so if we look at the specs of this thing, is it's got a dual core AMD CPU and it's a Ryzen 1600. And so it, it seems to be pretty decently powerful and it comes with eight gigs of RAM, which is actually pretty substantial compared to what most NAS has come with. And it's a 15 series because it's got the five bays pre-installed and then it's got an optional expansion unit for two additional bays. Once again, if you have ever used one of those expansion bays, please put a comment below and tell me you have, because I don't know really many people at all who use the expansion bays. I think they're literally just used for stats but I think it's a really solid unit and it's gonna have a lot of power underneath the hood. It also has two M.2 slots for SSD caching. And when you're talking 10 gigabit, this is where that starts to really matter, especially as an office file server or running virtual machines. It's definitely got a lot of power underneath the hood for that. And I think it is going to be far superior to its predecessor for a lot of reasons. One thing that is surprising is if we look at the features, it's only capable of 700 megabit read and write speeds over a network, which actually kind of surprised me. I figured that this would be able to hit 10 gigabit speeds, which would be about one gigabyte per second, though it does just have the single 10 gig card. And I mean, it is just a dual core CPU, but I was surprised to see that it was not able to get there. Still, honestly, 700 read and write is nothing to stick up your nose up at. My benchmark for a good 10 gigabit setup tends to be like 800 megabytes per second. So I think it's going to be a massive upgrade considering how its predecessor was only gonna give you 125 megabytes per second. And so this is a massive upgrade for those people. It's got two USB ports, one in the front, one in the back, and this super weird expansion card, which uses the E10G22T1 Mini. And so this is a card that costs about $150 for a 10 gig card, which is about $20 more expensive than Synology's regular PCIe 10 gig card. And I'm going back and forth on whether or not I like this add-in. I do not like how it is completely locked down. Obviously Synology is going to be the only ones to make this thing because it's for Synology. But if we like take a look at a NAS, I do kind of see where they're coming from. And if we look at their device, there is not necessarily a ton of room on the sides for a PCIe card. You might be able to fit it in right there, but there is definitely a lot more room underneath the NAS than necessarily like to the side, which does allow it to keep thinner. I still would prefer a regular PCIe expansion card, but if it's a space thing, which I mean, that's what they're selling it as, I don't think it's that, 
I do get it and I'm glad they added it rather than not adding it. Now, if this trickles down all the way into like the 922 plus, I will be very happy and it'll be well worth it. And I do think having a little port that does not take up a massive amount of space on the back for people who do want it is worth it. And the 150 bucks is, it's expensive, but not crazy expensive. Considering how you're probably gonna pay about 120 bucks for a good quality 10 gig card anyway, it's not, too much to ask to go that much further for the special form factor. They're definitely making some extra profit on it, but considering how few of these units they're gonna be selling, I do get that. And I think it's at the upper amount where I'd wanna pay for it. But for people who wanna go 10 gig networking, 150 bucks is really not too bad, considering how your switch that you're gonna buy is gonna be far, far, far more than that anyway. And so just having the ability to do it instead of upgrading to a whole nother NAS like the 1621 plus is going to be probably well worth it for you. And if it allows them to put it on more devices, I think that's a great trade off because the upgrade to faster networking is going to be a game changer for so many people who want to get more speed out of their NAS because you're just limited to one gig connection. That's 125 megabytes per second. And that's really slow for a lot of people if you're doing large file transfers. So the pricing for this unit also is the exact same as its predecessor. It is 700 bucks and the 1520 plus its predecessor is also 700 bucks. So I do think they're good there where it's having the exact same pricing, but there is a lot of new features in there. I think overall this is gonna be a great unit for a lot of people. And previously I did not ever recommend the 1520 plus just because if you're gonna go there and spend the money to get the five bay, go for the six bay because the six bay, the 1621 plus had the ability for PCIe expansion. So you can get that 10 gig speeds. But now that the 1522 plus has the ability for a 10 gig adding card. I think this makes a lot of sense. You can have five drives in there in a RAID 5 array or SHR1 array and have well over 64 terabytes of usable space in your NAS after RAID. And that is a ton. So I think that this is gonna be a really great option for a lot of people. And I'm glad to see they're bringing down the 10 gig card. I definitely wanna get my hands on this little device because it does also suck where there's no other options to purchase it. But if it performs as I expect it to, I do think I'll give a Synology slide for it being an annoying form factor just to get it in the more devices because it's such a crucial upgrade. I do wish that they would have two and a half gig networking ports on the back just by default. I'd rather see two two and a half gig ports than four one gig ports personally, but at least there's that 10 gig card which does make it kind of even out a little bit there. It also makes it really interesting for me for the NAS everybody's been waiting for, which is the 922 plus. Is that gonna have the ability for the 10 gig networking or is it gonna have two and a half gig networking or are they just gonna absolutely flop out and just give it one gig networking, which I really hope does not happen. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this really quick overview. Go and leave any other tutorials I see me make or any of the synologies you like, check out in the comments below and let me know what you think about this device. All right, have a good one, bye.